Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, happy Sunday. So, we only have a few days until the official numbers are out with who the new president of the United States will be. But before then, there's been a lot of celebrities coming out and endorsing Kamala Harris. We've had Beyonce, LeBron James, Jennifer Lopez, and many others. But right now, currently, Cardi B is trending. Because if you guys do not know, this past Friday, she was in Milwaukee at the presidential rally. And she was there to basically talk about her criticisms of Donald Trump and also big up Kamala Harris. And I really enjoyed watching her up there. If you guys do not know... Cardi B definitely loves politics and she loves speaking on politics. So they invited her to speak. A lot of people were kind of upset because she was talking off of her phone, but she later on explained why she was using her phone. And that was because she wanted to make sure that she did not forget anything that she had to say at that rally. Check this out. I work so hard, bro. I work so hard on my speech. Um, and a lot of y'all talking about like, oh, why are you reading it from a phone? Bitch, I had to write that shit down because I had to make, bitch, I'm 32 years old, bitch. And I, and I have three kids. My mind be fucking raising all goddamn day, bitch. Like, it's like sometimes you, sometimes, bitch, I be fucking, I be arguing on the, on, on my shower, like fucking rehearsing what I'm going to tell niggas when I see them. And you know what? I forget what I be telling them. I'm like, damn, I was in the fucking shower for 30 minutes. I was going to say to this motherfucker, but you know what? Then when I be in face to face, I be forgetting. So, you know, when it comes to this shit right here, I been knew what I've been wanting to say, but I had to make sure I ain't forget. So I wrote that shit the fuck down. Y'all gonna hear what the fuck I had to say. And I'm proud of myself. All right, so you guys just heard the explanation of why she was on her phone. So I wanna go ahead and play you guys um, what she said during the rally, her speech. I thought her speech was well put together. It came from the heart. And she gave it in a way that only Cardi B can give it. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you guys doing tonight? How you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to change these four years? No. Are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Thank you. All right. Vice President Kamala Harris, thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm going to make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long time. I've been saying it on Twitter, on my Instagram, and I'm ready to tell it to you now. Y'all ready to listen? All right, now. All right. Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. They be like, how she got there? Hold on, let me get, let me, let me warm up. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I can't stand a bully. But just like Kamala, I always stand up to one. All the time, I'm ready for him. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I wasn't going to vote this year. I wasn't. But Kamala well, Harris joining the race, she changed my mind completely. I did not have faith on any candidates until she joined the race and said the things that I wanted to hear, that I want to see next in this country. All right? I believe in every word that comes out of her mouth. 
She's passionate. She's compassionate. She shows empathy. And most of all, she is not delusional. Yeah. Yeah. Kamala recognized that this country is at risk, that the economy needs to get stronger, that the cost of food and the cost of living is too high. Damn, it's even high for me. I believe her when she says, under her, buying eggs and milk won't break the bank. Because she's going to pass a ban on price gouging on groceries. And she told me that in my face. So she better not lie to me in my face. Yeah. I believe her when she says she will make housing more affordable by providing Americans with $25,000 in down payment assistance. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, I got more. Yeah, yeah, she's promising a lot. And I believe her when she says she will provide a tax cut to 100 million middle-class Americans. That's a lot of Americans! And that includes $6,000 for parents in the first year of child's life. Y'all remember when they used to do that? Y'all remember when this country used to do that? Yeah. And speaking of health care, let's talk about it. Let's talk about health care. Did you hear what Donnie Trump said the other day? Y'all heard what he said? All right, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me, get, let me drink my water. Yeah, stay hydrated. He said he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. He said he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. I'm repeating it. Donnie Dunk, please. Protection for women, especially if we're talking about maternal and mental health care, is in telling them what to do with their bodies. It's supporting them and giving them the care they need for what they choose to do with their bodies. I don't play that. People like Donald Trump don't believe women deserve rights. And when those rights are taken away, they are nowhere to be found. When a mother's going through postpartum, he's not there to hold her hand. When a child is in foster care, or in a shelter because their mother is not mentally stable or financially stable to take care of them, they're not there. The people outside planning, yeah, yeah, they're not there. They're all gone. Those people outside Planned Parenthood, screaming at women's faces, they don't be there when women go through stuff. They don't. And everything is possible. Shout out to the single moms out there, but it's hard. <clears throat> Trump says he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. Well, if his, de if his definition of protection is not the freedom of choice, if his definition of protection is making sure our daughters have fewer rights than our mothers, then I don't want it! I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. We all knew Trump was a hustler, but hustling women, out of, and I'm a hustler too, yeah. But hustling women out of their rights to their body is nasty work. Hustling Americans out of their hard-earned money by selling Trump watches, Trump sneakers and Trump Bibles. By the way, the watches is $100,000. Yeah, yeah. Made in China, another country he discredited, is nasty too. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, wait, is Milwaukee in the building? Is Wisconsin in the building? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Do we really trust this man with our economy? economy a man who cares only about making himself rich and cutting taxes for his billionaire friends I don't even get a tax cut today is your wallet 
Tomorrow, he'll be conning you out of your health care rights. And that's a fact. I want you to hear that again. Today, he's hustling you with the, oh, buy my sneakers. Tomorrow is going to be your health care rights. He's going to take it away from you. He's going to snatch it. <laughs> Donald Trump talks about how he has a concept of a plan. But America, the only concept of a plan he has is a plan to hustle you. Yeah. Because we know what he's really setting, setting us for. He's selling more than watches and sneakers. He's selling us bigotry, misogyny, division, chaos, and confusion. He wants us to hate each other. And it's going to cost you your money, equal opportunity, affordable health care, and any rights you thought you had for your body. He's going to take it from you. Listen to me. He's going to take it. Thank you. I love you, too. I'm not giving Donald Trump a second chance. No, nope. I'm not taking any chances with my future and not damn sure and taking no chances with the future of my children. All three of them. All three of them. I'm not giving him the chance. You're not giving him the chance. Yeah. I'm with Kamala. I believe in her. And America, I believe in you to turn out on Tuesday. Turn out and turn up on Tuesday. Turn the page and let's win this thing. All right, so you guys just heard her speech. Now, of course, not everybody was too happy about it. And one person, AKA Elon Musk, definitely felt the way. We know Elon Musk is a staunch Trump supporter, which is fine. Everybody has a right to support who they want to support in this presidential election. I've always said that. So somebody posts this um, video of Cardi B talking and they say this, laugh my ass off. Cardi B's teleprompter was broken. She had no idea what to do for over a minute until somebody ran on the stage and gave her a phone to read off of. Holy embarrassing. And so then to that, Elon Musk says, another puppet who can't even talk without being fed words. The Kamala campaign has no authenticity or true empathy. So then Cardi B replies back to Elon Musk and she read him for the filth. So Cardi B says this, I'm not a puppet, Elon. I'm a daughter of two immigrant parents that had to work their ass off to provide for me. I'm a product of welfare. I'm a product of Section 8. I'm a product of poverty. I'm a product of what happens when the system is set up against you. But you don't know nothing about that. You don't know not one thing about the American struggle. P.S. Fix my algorithm. So a lot of people were giving Cardi B props for her clap back to Elon Musk. And, you know, I really liked the way that she said that back to him. She was very classy with it. And she admitted her struggles and basically made it clear that she started from the bottom and now she's here, okay? No pun intended, Drake. And, you know, let's also remember that Elon Musk, he grew up in, you know, wealth. His family's worth over $100 million. He grew up, you know, in a system in apartheid um, in South Africa where the black South Africans were struggling to make ends meet, were struggling to take care of their own families. And he grew up benefiting from that system. He grew up benefiting from his father's emerald mines and everything else. So he's never really had to struggle. You know, I don't think that anybody had to write her speech for her. That speech was very Cardi B, okay? So I think it's kind of sad that he would call her a puppet. And like I always say, people have the right to support who they want to support. Just like, you know, when Amber Rose got up there and said her speech for Trump, I was blown away. You know, I did the video and I was actually blown away by Amber Rose's speech and how it was heartfelt. And that's who she wants to stand beside. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. 
I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. Again, I don't understand the divisiveness. You know, I grew up in an era where people didn't talk politics. You chose who you wanted to vote for. That was between you, the person that you voted for in the booth, and God. You know, but unfortunately, we live in a day and age where everything is so polarizing. Folks will say that if you vote for Kamala, that you're basically a puppet and want to run the country into the ground. If you vote for Trump, you're racist. You know, you just don't want minorities to win. It's insane. Me personally, I cannot wait until this election is over and we have a definitive answer on who the president will be. Okay. So now in other presidential news, Candace Owens is also talking about another celebrity. So if you guys do not know, um, Sexy Red, AKA Big Sexy, she decided to also show her support for Kamala Harris. So she took to social media and she said this, I just voted. Don't tell us what to do with our coochies. Hashtag Kamala for president. So when this went viral on social media, people, of course, were dragging Sexy Red. You know, Sexy Red just likes to be overtly sexual, raunchy, and ratchet. Anything she does and says, I'm not surprised at all. And it's kind of sad that that is the image that she wants to constantly perpetuate, you know, but it's to be expected. It's Sexy Red. But Candace Owens was definitely not here for it. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. We do have some breaking news before I get into your comments. Uh, and it's it's big. I'm not going to lie. This is a big endorsement for Kamala. It's bigger than LeBron James. Um, I'm scared now. This election could be lost given this endorsement. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this celebrity to speak out and say to vote for Kamala. It's bigger than Taylor Swift. And the reasons listed here are actually valid. I'm now thinking about voting for Kamala. All right, guys, let's, um, it's Sexy Red. S-E-S-Y-Y-R-E-D. She's come out, and here's what she has to say. Um, let's see, it's on Twitter. She just tweeted this. I just voted. Don't tell us what to do with our coochies. Kamala for president. <laughs> guys, <laughs> it's over. It is over. Kamala's gonna win. She's going to win. Somebody came out and said, don't tell us what to do with our coochies. And I don't see how any woman can resist that. I don't see how any man can resist that call. I think it's over. It's over now. And so we should all just hang it up. We should hang it up. I'm done with the genealogical series. Sexy Red has taken me out. And so, ladies, you know what to do when somebody comes out and tells you what to do with your coochie or whatever. Vote for Kamala. <laughs> Vote for Kamala. All right. So you guys just heard what Candace Owens had to say. You know, and I'm not mad at her reaction. I feel like, you know, Sexy Red just be doing too much. But at the end of the day, again, people have the right to support who they want to support. I don't understand why Candace Owens and others, they get up in arms when, you know, celebrities or whoever support Kamala. That is their choice. Just like it is Candace Owens' choice, Kanye West's choice, and Elon Musk's choice to support Trump. And that's okay. Stand behind who you want to stand behind. But, you know, why get upset and feel the need to drag or shame somebody for who they want to choose to be president? Is that not why we live in a democracy? You know, it's just, it's really sad. It's really sad, the whole political climate. But at the end of the day, y'all, like I always say, when you go into that booth, you make your own personal decision for what works best for you and your family and what you believe in your heart. Don't let anybody right or left steer you one way or another. Don't be steered because of a celebrity endorsement. Don't be steered because of a Candace Owens or Elon Musk. Support who you feel in your heart to support, okay? So with that being said, I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this story. How do y'all feel about Cardi B's speech and what she had to say and her support of Kamala Harris? How do you guys feel about the drama between her and Elon Musk? And then last but not least, how do y'all feel about all the drama going on with Sexy Red and Candace Owens being upset at Sexy Red's endorsement of Kamala Harris? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I'll talk to y'all later. Enjoy your day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.